Today we're headed to the Berkeley neighborhood. We're headed to Barbed Wire Reef. We're gonna go meet the cool, young, hot chef Rico, who uh, started with the food truck and now has his own brick and mortar. I have not been there. I heard it's amazing. Uh, some exotic foods, stuff that I've never tried. Uh, alligator, crocodile, who knows what he's bringing today. But I'm gonna try it all and looking forward to it. Hi, how are you? Larry Hers here for another episode of Restaurant Tours on Ocean Eats. This week we're at Barbed Wire Reef. My first time here, meeting chef owner Rico. Rico, thank you so much for having me. Thank you uh, for coming. Give me a little background. Uh, I know we do some, some crazy food here, some wild game. How did you get your start in the business? And tell me about Barbed Wire Reef. Well, I started in the business uh, doing a little uh, festival booth, uh, such as Texas, Colorado, uh, Boulder Creek, uh, festival, Cherry Creek Art Festival, to start just with a little booth. And then from there, um, move uh, to a food truck. Then from the food truck, uh, we moved to uh, three of them. And then after, um, after for a little while, uh, finally we have our first brick and mortar, which is this. So Rico, a lot of people are familiar with your food truck. Is the menu similar here to the food truck? Are you doing more food than just the food truck? Well, um, <clears throat> Yes, uh, the menu is very similar to the food truck. We just uh, expanded it and elevated uh, uh, quite more just from the food truck. Everything is made from scratch. Everything is made in house or so uh, sauces, aiolis, um, crab cakes, pretty much everything. So you brought us a ton of food today. We actually are going to go in waves. So this is wave one. The rest of the food is out waiting for, for round two. Tell me what you brought me to start. Well, we're gonna start from the lightest to the heaviest. All right. So we have our uh, kale salad here with our um, superfood mix uh, with seeds and uh, crab cake uh, on top. And it has an in-house uh, sesame uh, vinaigrette, which is delicious. All right, I'm gonna dive into your crab cake here. I'm a crab cake snob. What kind of crab are you using? Uh, lump. Oh, it's delightful. Okay. Not a lot of filler, you could taste the crab, cook perfectly, delicious. Yeah, All right. thank you. Let's move, let's keep going. You got a lot of food, I got a well, lot of work to do here. No problem. Uh, we're gonna move into our oysters. We, uh, we have um, oysters, we bring uh, east and uh, west coast. These are uh, kumai, uh, very delicious, uh, small in the size. Uh, we make them, uh, we have them baked. They have uh, parmesan, uh, in-house uh, uh, chipot uh, chipotle butter and a little bit of uh, parsley. Yeah, chipotle. I, I was wondering, I took a bite and I'm like, that has a different taste that I'm used to. Yeah. It's a chipotle butter, it's yeah. a nice touch. All right, more oysters. More oysters, our, our fresh oysters. A little bit different than the traditional way that people uh, yeah, serve it. We, uh, we make our own, uh, we call it verdita sauce. It's basically a little bit of jalapeno, cilantro, lime and um, a little bit of uh, horseradish in it and it's just uh, just a different than just um, regular uh, horseradish and, and lemon. A little lemon wouldn't yeah. hurt it though? Oh, right? absolutely. You could have one too, you yeah, know? Let's try I heard the food's good here. I love him. So, for people who don't like oysters, what's the technique? What's the way to eat them? Do you, do you chew them? Do you just I them? chew them, personally. Okay but more than welcome to uh, just swallow them. Oh yeah. That was very, very refreshing. Yeah. I didn't think I really liked oysters, but I liked that one. All right. Where did you get that one from? Uh, these are West Coast. So we cleared off round one. We're moving on to round two. Couldn't even fit it all on the table. Uh, I see a lot of sausage here. Tell me about this dish. Well, we call this, uh, we've been uh, very well known since the food trucks for our wild game gourmet uh, sausages. We created a platter so people get to try different meats and we uh, have the sausage fest here. So I love a good sausage fest. Yeah. So uh, we have from here, we have the elk, we have buffalo, venison, rattlesnake, wild boar, and alligator. 
All right, last but not least, we got what? Alligator. Now, I've never had alligator before in any form. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. It's not weird. Tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting it to have like this flavor, like nothing I've ever had in my life. It tastes like sausage. It They're is. all delicious. I would eat them all. I just did. Is this for real? Is this a normal dish or did you just bring this out for me? No, that it's, that's how we serve it. Um, and, and what is it? These are our famous uh, uh, piggy fries. So the base is Parmesan Asiago truffle fries. We top it off with our famous uh, pool wild boar meat, Chip in-house chipotle, um, chipotle barbecue sauce, and uh, parsley. That's a 10, that's amazing. It's definitely one of the best sellers. So what did you bring out for round three? So we're gonna start with the, uh, our Mexican bouncer burger. It's uh, kangaroo meat, asadero cheese. Um, we have our one of our secret um, salsas with um, roasted jalapeno and onions, avo avocado and uh, in-house pickles. That one is gonna be a little bit gamey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kangaroo is the leanest meat that we have, it's about 99 uh, lean and 1% fat. So, so how, do you, how do you keep it juicy? Uh, you, we recommend that don't, don't go over meat and rare. Delicious, I've actually had kangaroo in Australia before. Yeah, it's, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's perfectly that, normal that's, to eat. That's you what know? I got the idea to get kangaroo over here when I, was, uh, when I visited Australia, wanted to make kangaroo burger. All right, more food, what's more next? More food. So this is our Deer Vastator burger. Oh. It's made out of uh, elk okay. meat. We have a wild boar bacon on it, uh, onion ring, and uh, chipotle barbecue sauce, and cheddar cheese. This is gonna be one of those embarrassing TV moments. There's no way to eat this and look classy. So I'm just going for it. That's the best way to do it. Oh yeah. That's the best thing I've put in my mouth all day. <laughs> And, right, and then this is Taj's favorite, or producer. Yeah. So he brought it out, I guess, for him, but I'll, I'll eat a bite. Eat well, a this is one of our, it's been one of our icons too. We got the best of the show at Cherry Creek Art Festival with this. It's called our Black and Ahi Tuna Sandwich. Uh, it's, um, we uh, sear, uh, rare uh, the tuna, slice it thin. We make our own uh, cucumber wasabi aioli. Oh, yeah and uh, sesame ponsu. I get it now, Taj. <laughs> That's an amazing sandwich. Wow. Thank you so much. Everything was amazing, Rico. It was a pleasure to meet you. You Great killed to meet me you with all this food. No dinner for me tonight, sorry for the wife. You're eating alone. Uh, <laughs> stay tuned next week for another episode of Restaurant Tours on OCN Eats. If you're not following us on YouTube, you should, on uh, OCN Videos and OCN Eats on Instagram, and make sure you follow him on Barbed Wire Reef on Instagram as well. Let's eat. All right, thank you. Eat, eat, please. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat all this.